Welcome to the place where we can talk about TV. Let's talk about Helix. Helix is a show by sci-fi that tells the story of a group of scientists that are sent to the Arctic to investigate a potential virus outbreak. Helix is a mixed batch of light horror and science fiction. You got your zombies that aren't exactly zombies, crazy miracle drugs, an occasional jump scare and freaking Pam from Archer. Seriously, if there's ever a live action Archer anything, she's Pam. They don't just look the same, they play the same character. Which is awesome for Archer, pretty terrible for Helix. So the show starts out pretty strong, the episodes have a good rhythm, and gets to a point where it's an okay show that's just interesting enough to make you watch the next episode. The acting in Helix is incredibly over the top. A lot of times it just doesn't fit the situation these guys are in. And a lot of times the show does this thing where they put on like upbeat music while something intense or disturbing is going on, and I get it, I get what they're going for, I get what they're trying to do. And it works a few times, but they overuse it like fuck. And for me it just got to a point where it completely drew me out of the experience. So the main plot of Helix is about Alan Farragut, this super scientist from the CDC who goes to a research base in the Arctic with his team to find out what they can about a possible virus outbreak. Once they get to the base, shit gets bad pretty quick. And the show is about them dealing with it. The main story, while not mind-fucking or especially well told, is interesting. I was genuinely interested to see what happens next and how everything unfolds and how everything's connected and who's behind everything and all that. And if the show just stuck to that main story, it still wouldn't be an amazing show. It would still be overdramatic and cheesy at times, but it would be like a solid, fun show. But then you have these two. Other than the fact that their characters are written like 80s action hero parodies with a tough guy act and like zany one-liners, both of them have their own subplots in the show which are kind of connected, and both of them are... Uh, how can I illustrate this in a descriptive manner? Not good. But seriously. This fucking guy. I could not take a single word he said seriously. That eight-year-old helmet haircut and like a half-baked Batman voice he does all the time. <laughs> no, it did not work for me at all. Actually, there is a lot I want to bitch about the stories with these two guys, but that will probably be spoiling the entire plot. So, moving on. It feels like the creators of the show gave a lot of focus to the main character, Alan, and not so much to the other characters as far as how deep their personality is. I mean that Alan makes sense. You get his motives, and if something weird happens, it takes a while until he's convinced, like, okay, this is what we should do. He doesn't just accept everything. And he's a scientist, it makes sense. His character makes sense, but for some of these other characters, half the time I was like, what? Why, why would you believe that? Why aren't you questioning that? Why aren't you investigating? How come you just accept that weird thing to be true? Half of the time they're like, oh, okay. Helix takes place in two locations, inside the base and out on the ice. All the stuff that takes place inside the base despite of everything, as I said, is interesting. The story moves fast and does an okay job in keeping you hooked. Everything out on the ice, the CG stuff, is pretty bad. There are actually few scenes out there that could have been really cool if they didn't just look fake as shit. Bottom line, should you watch it? Well, no, if you haven't caught up on all the really good stuff that's out there, you should probably watch those things first. I mean, if right now you don't have anything to watch and you want something that's kind of short and not too heavy, then Helix might work for you. It can be pretty fun at times, especially if you take it for what it is. The second season of Helix just started and the premise is actually pretty interesting. I am going to watch it because I'm interested to see if they do a better job. I still don't think it's going to be like a crazy good show, but it does have the potential to go from hmm, meh to hmm, oh, oh, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah. Anyway, if you are watching or have watched Helix, I would love to know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Also, feel free to post any suggestions you might have about what shows I should watch and review next. And don't forget to subscribe so we can talk about TV some more next time.